So our bodies are in motion all the time as we're doing things. I mean, think about it. Every time you get up out of a chair, you turn your head, you lift into a cabinet to reach your arm into a cabinet to get something, you're tucking your shirt in, whatever it might be. Your body is in movement all the time, and that movement really is only possible because you have stability. The only reason that we can be mobile and move is because somewhere in our body we're getting stability from it. If you've ever seen somebody that for whatever reason is having a difficult time walking, if you watch them, they're all over the place as they're walking. They can't keep their body in one plane because they don't have the stability that they need and they're trying to be mobile. That's where problems always come in. We are always trying to be mobile. And if we don't have the stability, we're gonna to start to run into problems there. What gives me that stability? What gives me that mobility? It all always comes from muscles. There is a type of contraction that a muscle can do that will give you both stability and mobility at the same time. But how well that muscle does that or how well it's able to do that is really determined by how strong, we're gonna use that catch-all term, how strong that muscle is. And strong doesn't mean how much weight can I lift. It does mean that, but it also means two other things. It means how long could I do this for? Could I do it for 10 times? Could I do it for 100 times? Could I do it for 1,000 times? And then it also means how conditioned is it? Could I do it day after day after day, hour after hour? Could I do it multiple times over the course of the day? So if you think about something like reaching into a cabinet, let's just use that. I need stability in a lot of different areas to get the mobility of reaching into a cabinet just to get that plate. So the plate doesn't weigh a whole lot. It weighs, let's say, a pound if that but I need a lot of stability that comes out of a lot of different areas. I need to have stability in my trunk and in my core because if in order to reach up overhead, if my trunk sways around, then I'm gonna have a very difficult time being able to move my arm, it's gonna go all over the place. If you think about jello, you put jello on the counter and you shake the plate, it still maintains its shape, so it's not like my body's gonna fall apart if I don't have stability, but I'm gonna be all over the place. So I need stability in my trunk. In order to reach into that cabinet, I also need some stability in my shoulder blade. When I reach my arm up overhead, my shoulder blade needs to not move a whole lot. If it moves a lot, my arm again is gonna be all over the place. I'm gonna have a hard time raising my arm. And then finally, I need stability in my shoulder. I need the shoulder joint to stay open as the arm raises up overhead. And if I don't have the stability, and this is what happens, I'm gonna run into where two bones bump against each other. And not only am I gonna have pain and some other problems, but I'm not gonna be able to reach up into the cabinet. So again, stability is the key key factor. I've got to have that stability in a lot of different areas in order to have the mobility. Let's use an example of somebody that has a tennis elbow or, or like an elbow tendonitis. You can easily get that from a lot of typing. You can easily get it from playing on your phone and playing games. And so if you just use those two activities as an example, I need a lot of stability in my elbow and my wrist. If I'm on my phone, my elbows and my wrist don't move. They need to stay stable. The reason they need to stay stable is so that my thumbs can move and punch the keys on my phone or play the game or whatever it is that I'm doing. I need to be able to keep my elbows stable. So that stability comes from my forearm muscles. Those forearm muscles hold my elbow stable so that every time I move my finger, my arm isn't all over the place. But again, stability is the key factor there. Mobility is what I get if I've got good stability. So if you're having any problems, whether it be pain or stiffness or soreness anywhere, whether it be problems with moving, doing regular things during the day, reaching into the dishwasher, reaching into a cabinet, bending over to tie your shoes, or something more advanced like being able to run, being able to run faster, being able to throw, being able to throw faster, being able to kick a soccer ball further, whatever it might be, all of those things come down to you need a lot of stability, chances are way more than you have, to improve the quality of the mobility that you're looking to get.